more and more recently. The team's finding success into this race, but Nismo is actually the one who goes down first in that space given to M80. Yeah, everybody from the Union just around the corner. Smoke goes down, bodies just might start to fall. The shots go wide, and it's the Union out on top momentarily as EU steals one back. Who not quite in the fight, he'll slowly start to work his way in to try and supplement Pank here. Another smoke to follow, Koala. Now under fire, spout getting run down. Goo to find the next thing. Position in the meantime, the Union holding, trying to get clear things to the Prowlers of that fade in. A little bit of fake confidence could be. Waiting on the other side, but no way, Nismo gets it too. Yeah, this is why you got it from Xander, that forced NTK off of his ankle. Spike planted. And because of that, fought a little too far forward. Nismo will eventually be dealt with, but numbers advantage, time advantage also still in favor. Rafa's just got no way out. What can he do? Okay, yeah, eventually Xander will run him down. Koala dealt with, here comes the retake though. Pank and Goo, hand in hand. They had to do it in the last round. Now they get to try it again here in this one. It's gonna have to be perfect this bit of utility. Now M80 set their eyes on this B side. First one down, Nismo somehow allowed to find that kill. Xander grabs another. This defense whittled down to three. Asuka can try and beat the timing. He beats the eight shells, both 44 HP. He's gotta be perfect. Ooh, and he is. Now it seems like the smoke going off with a difference here for the Union, but a 2v1 from, for Pang to deal with. Yeah, Rafa finds two huge kills. Paranoia comes through. Pank gonna try and sneak the delay power from Rafa. Nismo gets put in a bad spot. All oh, this util on the site, and there's that lockdown that you talked about. It should force M80 off. It's gonna force their hand. Do they plant? Do they, do they look to run away? And it's go elsewhere as Nismo finds one NTK here to receive. The attack trying to rotate over towards the safe site. And the lockdown has since subsided. The spike has fallen. John Cutie going left, right, front, and center, finding frags, but needs to do it again. A player down or M80 as they work their way back into this round. They've opened up the A site and quickly Askia and Rafa will rotate towards the A to try and match. Left. And the time here is so low, but it's just Five enough to get the spike on. planted. Lockdown now available on the other side as he has been for Joan Cutie. EU finds a pick. And, and you have to respect Askia here. Not using the lockdown could be the end of this round. This guy finds frags, unfortunately, just could not find. I'm sure that they can't. Uh, they don't have the C site as an option. M80, down a player, maybe looking to pressure B as they shoot their way up the gut. Hey, Nismo, paint shells in hand, will force one back. Askia, will be forced to respect that one. Inside the smoke, the duel goes on. Goo will fall. Now the odds are even, but only for a moment. Beautiful paint shells to deal with Nismo, but a Viper's Pit to work through for the defense. And the players are on the inside. Koala gets spammed. Pink will collect one. Here on the retake, Xander and John Kitty can try and hang on and find two kills for themselves. The decay starting to come through. The pit still stands, and Xander will be forced forward. But Askia goes victory. Koala on this omen with the operator. Hey, <laughs> you, you get to see that, and you get to see the last kill as well going his way. Uh, comes into this one with the paranoia. Flashes his way through the tree, the running gun, and he just falls short. Right click, stone land. Rafa gets the better end of the trade, and five are still alive for the Union here in the pistol. The spike planted, and that retake three players. Joan Cutie, Sandra, Nismo. A tall task, but three players that have been insane on this map so far. And flash in hand, flash in hand, NTK gets caught out. Oski now going to try and hang on. The frenzy can't get it done. It's a classic instead. Nismo in the back lines. Xander works his way forward. Good snake bite on the spike. The snake bite of the pistol just so one strong. Pank remaining. collects one force to reload. Now two remain. It's John Cutie. A couple of right clicks later, and they'll fall short. The Union start their comeback now in the pistol. There's more giving that space, giving that space for day. And like you said, having to take care of the other two sides. No way. A huge oversight there. Vulnerable walking right into the nano swarm. Goo works his way onto the site, finds the but John Cutie immediately gets him back. The util and the rifle of John are good for three, and with that, Goo across the map. Uh, he's trying to keep him guessing, trying to mix it up. Takes the high ground, gives it up around the corner. Goo, good for three, tries for the fourth, but he used it. You have to hang on. Nightfall available, like you mentioned. We'll see if EU chooses to send this one out. Seize is down at the feet of Panky. Keeps the pit alive, though. Finds the kill for it. Nightfall now dealt with the Xander. Works his way back for one. John, another. And numbers here as Emmy look to close Sandy. this one out. Sits down to the last. Who RVN has a video till to play with John Cutie. Low HP will take the fight and win it.
And here in the first map, M80, they've righted their wrong for the first time these two teams met and Lotus goes their way in dominant fashion. The energy high for M80. Open for business, this wall will cut off any chance of a quick retake through the site, but it's fast through a main. A dash forward will keep Koala alive. Back and forth we go as Pank gets a better end of the trade. Beautiful flashes, not only from the Breach, but from Nismo as well. And M80 have found their way back. A player lead, make it two as Rafa looks to hang on. He's got a backstab of his own. Long range with the classic, and it just falls short. Make it out safely. Cam gonna be taken down. Pank gonna try and find his way onto the side. The A side has been the final destination for the Union. They've been enjoying this one. Then to find the kill on Askia. Man, make it two is John Cutie. Also dancing the dance atop the side. It's two to two for John and Xander. And Rafa, who took some early damage noted at the beginning of this one. Gonna be left with an alt orb. Rafa's IGL for the squad and Koala thinks that he's got him red like. Wow. A book as Askia puts himself out there. Unfortunately, all alone means he walks away with nothing. M80 with no fear right now playing. Cage triggered. Again, fired up and, and ready for this matchup. Getting for a couple more rounds as there's an eco coming through for the Five Union. Down. Rafa, actually good for two with the Sheriff. And Pank is snuck onto the side here. Good backstab. This could be the round. Not the greatest to deal with. Getting oh, a little great, too carried away. Fragment. Yeah. Yeah, right. Panko will reassume this position. Shots will eventually be reeled in. They have the numbers to work with. They can play a little bit more patient as the spike makes all the way to this B side. One that we haven't seen just yet. I wonder if there's a chance to do so. Oh, the trap warriors are always so dangerous. Some damage taken too by this attacking squad. I think they're trying to buy out the Rolling Thunder and tap on the spike, spike but EU's not going to give this one up. NTK goes into the back lines, will erase John Cutie. Now the Operator going to find a backstab. Knives online. Look at the util tossed out this way. Alt for alt as Koala goes up top. Speaking of up top on his wall, is Ro Ooh, Koala Noob in a bad spot. Rolling Thunder comes through. He dashes. He cloud bursts. He jumps. He leaps, but eventually he dies. The Showstopper comes through. Doesn't find too much. Clear things out. Nismo. Steals the body back, no command online. Now all the utils shut off here. Suppressed are the union members, but they flash their way on through. They'll deal with the robots. Now have two more to worry about. A healthy two as they get run down. By M80. Yeah, this has been an interesting spot though. Pank's spot inside drop. I don't think it's been completely noted. Because of that one round that he was able to sneak through, and Rafa does it again. One hero rifle. Now Pank drops onto the site. They immediately flood. And the A site belongs to the union. They have to hang on to it. Careful, breaking the wall. <sighs> it's one. And things get awkward. Two players try to push through the door in Sands, and they've been dealt with. Yeah. At the A site, though, yeah, again, M80 just have the right call on the strong side. Oh, but the wrong call for John Cutie. It's the play right here on site. Incendiary oh, comes down as well, but Xander's assumed his position, reassumed as the stuns come through. Ostia, just a second thought here. Rafa drops down, finds the kill with the Operator. Wall goes up and again split from this A site for the remainder of the defenders here for M80. Can they find a way back in? In a 3v5, a couple players slow. Koala and I'm actually managing to find Rafa with the Operator. And yeah, this is doable. And Fragment at the feet. This is going to force the hand of Askia. Forced to push on through as that wall now has a hole in it. Incendiary. Will come yeah, down. Yeah. Koala goes over the top, but he's ripped out of the sky. Two remain. In a 2v3, NTK gonna be disconnected from the fight. He's too low HP. Running out of time, though. RM80, a beautiful stun. Who has fallen? Nismo now gonna try his hand, but it's EU instead. Cuts off one side of the map. Gives the information that M80 want to hit this way because they've dealt with it. Speaking of being dealt with, Rafa. Just not long for this world. It was only Util that he's found here in this round. John Cutie plants his feet and fights for the B site like it's his own. Now it's all up to Goo. A smoke comes down. Three players to worry about. Cannot find the first. And M80 keep moving forward. Goff finds nothing early. M80 working behind their util very well as the flashes come through. Two of them used to try and deal with Pank. 
It's a two for one trade. They get three for one as Quality goes into the back lines. He's been a race though. Askia finally finds his way into the fight. And Rafa, who's been so good. And, and, I mean, the, the tug of war, the back and forth, splitting them. As Askia, 46 HP, a sheriff for Johnny. Close it out last round, tries to get a team. We'll find the frag. Bit of a response here is John Cutie. Under fire, Rafa switches targets, finds a kill on Nismo. Askia behind the paint shells will push his way onto the site. Incendiary's down. It'll force off the defuse. Aftershock behind it. All the utils starting to be dumped here, but that means nothing to continue to delay the clock as Askia pushes through. He goes one for one. As the Union look to hang on. A tap onto the spike once more. Koala good for three. EU looks to close it out, and he'll do just that in 2 0 fashion. M80 explode here on Fracture, and they give us an all North American grand final.